Alright, welcome to lesson 6. Now there's one more thing I want to show you before we move into um, more of a Unity 3D um, style programming. I just wanted to show you some of the language um, that you're going to come across. Um, the uh, the I mentioned earlier that um, variables are useful if you track something and you want to do something about it. Um, right now we've, we're able to track health but we're not able to do anything about it. So we just run the start function or we just run the update function and there's no decision making which computers are uh, incredibly good at and useful for. So um, the, uh, the, the way we're going to do this is we're going to look at the if statement. Um, now it's one of the major um, parts of programming and uh, to be able to make a decision based on some of these variables and the values that they hold. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start with its simplest possible form. Um, we're going to print out um, we're going to print out something um, based on whether the health becomes uh, less than zero or not. Um, so the way you do an if statement, and this is a, a cool little tip here, is if you type in if and if you double tap the tab, um, what you get is you get the uh, curly braces get put in for you and also the cursor goes over the uh, the condition. So this is how it looks, it's an if bracket and then the condition and then bracket and then the block of code that gets run if this condition becomes true. So this will this if true will constantly run. So if I type out um, oop, in here, if I have to press enter actually, if I type out in here um, if true, so this will always run because this whatever's in here evaluates to true. I'm going to print um, ouch. Um, so if we run this um, you'll see that we have um, the run the code, it prints out the amount that health is and then it prints out ouch. So um, the code would have start, it would say health is minus equal, so health equals health minus the hit value, um, then it prints out what health is and then if true, so this will always run, it will print ouch. Um, what we're going to do here is change this to uh, to a more useful condition. Now, in order to compare um, a variables, oops, health, um, we use these symbols. So we have a greater than. We have, in fact, I'll put them up here. So we have that one is less than, and I'll put that in a comment we have this one which is greater than greater than and we have also got equal to um, now notice that there is two equal signs um, the reason that there's two equal signs is so that it differentiates it from assigning a value so if health equals 10 with a single equals will assign the value of 10 to health whereas here we're comparing so it's is equal to is what this reads as um, we've also got the uh, not equal to so that's the exclamation mark um, that we can use and these are the most common ones that you can use there's also um, greater than or equal to so you can do greater than or equal and obviously you can do less than or equal to. Now these are the way to compare variables. Um, so we're going to say here if health is less than zero then we print ouch. So we look up at this code, just delete this to get out of the way. So if we look up at this code right now, I'm actually going to comment this out as well. Um, so we're going to work out whether health is going to be less than zero. We're only going to print out ouch if health is less than zero. Now here's the condition right here. So um, right now we know that that's not going to be the case because um, when we printed it out before health was six. So we run the code and nothing appears which is as we'd expect. That is correct. However, um, if I go back to my code, if I make a bullet hit worth 40 points then in this piece of maths here, 
health will become health minus whatever bullet hit value, so that would be minus 40. So health would actually be minus 30. So because health in this at this point in execution will be less than zero, then it will do this piece of code. Um, and just to prove that it works, we'll run the code. So we compile, we run, and you'll see ouch comes up to the console. Um, so that's the simplest possible form of doing the the if statement. We will see it later on um, when we're doing uh, doing start doing our project. But um, I just wanted to show you this in its simplest possible form right now.